beautiful mountains of Scotland. And this montage of archive footage you're looking at is looking to or taken from some mountains that are over a thousand metres high. And during the course of this video you'll find out exactly why that, yeah, why that is the case for this video specifically. And another thing about this video, which is something I, I don't usually do or like doing, is I'll be asking for your help. And I, I hope that it's taken in the manner it's intended, and I hope that the community here, the Steam and Boots community, can pull together and help me reach my target. Anyway, enough waffling for the moment, let's cut to me in a car park, waiting for a colleague to explain all about the video and the task ahead. Right, I think I've got everything. Right. Hi everyone. Just uh, straight into the video today. And um, before I go on any further, this video is going to be slightly different. I really need your help, or we need your help. And I don't often ask, I don't like asking for things like this, but um, we're going to be doing a charity event later in the year. I'm going to put a link in the description below, a just giving one kind of, you could go down and click on that and give anything, you know, if, even if it's a pound, 50p, whatever you can, I don't know how, I don't know how little you can put into these things or how much. Um, I've still set the link up, but I will be live by the time this video is out, so it's in the description below, I wanted to put that in first, so please, 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 if you could just give what you can, uh, I know some people won't be able to give anything and that's totally fine, I totally understand it, but if you can, it would be very much appreciated. It's for a children's charity and I'm actually meeting up with uh, Paul, who is running an event which is which involves mountains and that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this. Uh, the, and we'll go into that in more detail later on uh, about uh, the mountain challenge that's going to raise money for this children's charity. But at the moment there's a link, a just giving link, if you could please, please, please um, put a little bit into that. Right, I'm going to go and get ready and meet Paul and then we're going to go up this thousand metre peak which is significant to the challenge which uh, Paul's organising. A bit more about that later on, right? Time to get my bag ready. This is, uh, this is looking promising, Paul. I can see the summit. I know. It's free of cloud. Yeah. <laughs> Which is great. I think we'll maybe stop. We'll tell the viewers a bit more about the charity thing in a minute, I think. Yeah, they get a nice view down the glen here as well. Yeah. There's the old military road, actually. I was trying to get onto that earlier on. Oh, sunshine. Oh. Sun's going away. <laughs> yeah. Just in time for us to do this bit. Yeah. Right, folks. I've been a bit rude and I've not uh, introduced my uh, walking companion today. This is Paul, and um, as I, as I mentioned in the first piece to camera, uh, this this is um, this is a walk where we're going to talk a bit about a charity event, and Paul's uh, organising this charity event. So I don't know. I think maybe for the viewers, we would start off talking about the charity itself. Paul, is there anything you can tell us about Arches Charity? that um, the viewers don't know and what they'd like yeah. to know about it. Well, it's a children's hospital charity and uh, so it works in Grampian, Highland and most recently Tayside. So it's been in Tayside for the last five years. Right. And um, it just helps really make a difference for the for uh, children uh, when they're getting care in the hospital. Right, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, Bereavement... Um, so funding and charity yes, so there's now bereavement of, funding. Uh, uh, there's a bereavement service, which is yeah. which is great, uh, and there's been lots of sort of little uh, projects supporting families uh, when they're struggling because they've got someone that's uh, got a child that's in the hospital. Yeah, uh, and um, we're just working out what the next sort of uh, big or medium project, project will be will as be, well. Yeah. So there you go. It's um, you know sometimes you'll hear me moaning about, about having a sore knee, but there are there are people out there that you know they're going through a lot worse, and, and that's what this charity. I mean, anything to do with our kids is um, is next level. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go on a wee bit further. Uh, that's a wee bit about the, the charity. We'll, we'll go on and I'll, I'll, I'll maybe question Paul a bit more about his, his events and what he's been doing to raise charity uh, money for the charity, both past and future, hopefully. So, let's see if we can get up this. It's a thousand meter peak. I maybe mentioned that to the bit to camera at the start, but that's quite relevant to the, yeah. uh, the yeah, event. Yeah. But we'll not give away too much yet. Yeah. So let's go. <laughs> let's crack on and get to the top. Oh, 
beautiful grey, grey clouds coming up from the south now. Blue skies that way, but that's, uh, that's not the right way. Yeah. Warcast was to... I looked at the Met Office and it suggested there might be more clouds coming in. Well, I think we've, we've cursed it, Paul. The uh, <laughs> summit is somewhere up there. Can't see the summit anymore. Blue skies have disappeared, Actually, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah. But it's still better than I thought it was going to be, so... I mean, yeah, it's, it's, soon, soon enough. Soon enough, no, it might clear over. I'll pass over and... Uh, There's patches of blue sky around. Just not where we want them. No. <laughs> All oh, right, I think uh, I think before we go into the mist, Paul, we'll do another bit to camera. Yeah, the, uh, we're literally just below the final pool up to Glass Mall, um, and yeah, I'll, I'll need to. I'm, I'm actually just stopping to get my breath back. <laughs> I'm a bit tired. Anyway, I think uh, what would be good as well, Paul, is if you can tell the guys um, mm -hmm. a bit a bit of history because this isn't there. What there is going to be an event coming up this year, which is going to raise money for the arches which Paul's organising, but Paul has already... One of the reasons that we got, you know, we started talking is because you've done a mountain challenge before. And uh, I'll, I'll shut up. Do you want to tell the guys about the mountain challenge that you did 2000 and... So it's 2015. The 2015. Yeah. Oh. And um, so I'd been sort of... Archie had been coming to Tayside and I'd been mulling over some sort of fundraising event. And just for years, I've been wondering why we think about mountains and feet because there's no feet yeah. on the maps anymore and they're all so they're all in meter, meters so there's 914.4 yeah. meters is a is a Monroe height but that's not even a contour on the map so um, I came up with the concept of the thousand meter mountains of Scotland um, and decided to have a challenge linking all of those so it was a big relay uh, which we did in June of 2015 and um, so there's 130 of them Okay. So this is like the equivalent, well not the equivalent, the Monroes were over 3,000 feet, weren't they? 3,000 feet, and yes. That, and that translates to 914.4 metres. Yes. And of course, I'm sure if um, Sir Hugh Monroe was alive, he'd be he'd probably be doing the 1,000 metre peaks. That's what you're talking about, anything over 1,000 metres. I think so. So I think if he was alive today, he would come up with the 1,000 metre mountains thousand, yeah. because... It's the obvious height, you know, yeah. it's a vertical kilometre and it's, you know, it's a nice round number. Yeah, and, um, it's in the cloud more often than the smaller hills. <laughs> yeah, well, there's there's very few kind of boring arches. They're all really pretty substantial big mountains, you know, yeah. so they're a great bunch of hills. Yeah. So you did a challenge where you were, yeah. it was a continuous round with different parties, is that right? I should know because I've read the book. Because there's yeah. a book as well, we'll come yeah. on to that in a minute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, and you had the mascot. Was it the mascot that was in the, the backpack? Yeah, so we had this wee archy, cuddly toy, which is a wee, a wee rabbit called Rabby, because it's a Rabby. rabbit. And, yeah. and uh, so that's our, our baton. So yeah. rather than having an Olympic torch, which is probably going to be a bit cumbersome and might set your yeah. rucksack on fire, <laughs> or blow out, more likely, yeah, on a day like today. Yeah, so we had this wee rabbit, and I had a wee uh, tracker. Yeah. In a wee ruck in its in its wee rucksack. So you so, could follow it round. Yeah, yeah, so a spot tracker, so we could follow it around the whole whole event, which was really cool. So yeah, I I, um, I actually bought the book and the book is called uh, The Arches. The Arches. Yeah. And I'll put a link down because again if 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 you were to to buy the book and it's a really good book. And I I didn't know you, Paul. I actually came and I met you and said how much I enjoyed the book. And it's just the stories of everyone that was involved in the uh, the continuous Link or uh, climb of all the thousand meter peaks, and it's great. It's really is a good a good read. So I can thoroughly recommend it as well. Plus, all the money goes towards the uh, Archie Foundation. So I'll uh, I'll put a link down below the Just Giving link as well. All these links we have to do. So yeah, if you've if you've not heard of it, it's worth well worth uh, well worth a read. So yeah, right. I think we've been talking an awful lot. I think my legs have recovered. So we um, get up Glass Mall, which is a thousand meter peak. Yeah, and, it's um, an Archie. Yeah, it's an Archie indeed. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Okay. I'm not sure if we're going to get a view. I think it's going to be... No, I think it's closing yeah, in, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I will see that as well. I think uh, it's, it's good for your physical health. I always think the, men, your, the mental health is, yeah. even if it's cloudy like this, I yeah. find it benefits me for sure. Yeah. As you can see from this well, footage, we were about yeah. to enter yeah. the cloud. Yeah. 
And the the wind was actually quite strong. It's actually taken me quite a bit of time to get rid of all the wind noise from the uh, footage. So, anyway, before long we were indeed on the inside of a Scottish cloud, trudging up the steeper part of Glassmall, past some late snow patches which were lingering on the hillside. And eventually, through the mist, we eventually caught sight of the summit of Glassmall. Uh, the summit. Here we are. Well, no views, Paul, unfortunately. No. Do you have a puddle on a cairn? <laughs> uh, here we are. Oh dear. The summit. Boss mile. Right, well, we've not got a view. We're going to bring the camera a bit closer because I'm not sure if you're going to see us through the mist. <laughs> so we'll do another bit to camera, will we? We'll put the camera on this key on so it's closer to us. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, I brought, oh, Craigie, it's a bit rocky here. Don't want to break my leg here. So we're, uh, I brought the camera a bit closer because uh, there's a lot of uh, mist inside of a Scottish Scottish cloud. So, yeah, I think, um, Paul, it'd be a good time to talk about the new challenge for 2022 where there's a new mountain challenge for the Archie yep. Foundation. So do you want to yep. give I'll... your spiel? All the, all the Archies in one day. So that's going to be on the 4th of June, which is the Jubilee weekend. So it's a long weekend. So I think it'll be quite nice for a lot of people to make a real weekend of it. And what we're uh, going to do is try and get as many people up the Archies as possible in one day. Right. And have someone at the top of every one. So there's 130 of them. Yep. So at the top of all 130 and just really sort of paint the the Scottish skyline. Yeah, the Arches. So yeah, that yeah. sounds amazing. So the last challenge was a continuous round with everyone. Yeah, it's a big relay. Yeah, <laughs> whereas this time we're trying to get somebody on top of every thousand metre Archie peak. Uh, not at the same time, but in the same day, essentially, the fourth. So I think the uh, the idea is you can register to do this and that generates yeah. a wee bit of money for the charity as well. Is that a £10 registration yeah, fee? Yeah, £10 is registration and you get a free book for that. So it's really... Right. Yeah. Oh, there you go, so you get a free book if you register to do it. And again, I'll put that link in the description. So yeah, that's the that's the plan. So if you can help out that way as well, if you want to get involved, there's a link in the description below and that would be great. Fantastic. Um, so that's three links you've got. We've got Just Giving link, so please, please, please try and donate whatever you can to that. There's also the, uh, yeah, there's the link to the book, your book, which you over oversaw, which is it's really worthwhile. Honestly, I really enjoyed it. And the third link is to the actual event, which is... 4th of June this year, 2020, and if you want to get involved in that, follow the link and register there. That's uh, that'd be that'd be great, wouldn't it? So, yeah, let's see, uh, let's see, might see you up there. I'm going to be going up one of them. Hopefully, if my knee holds out, it's been okay today, so I'll need to register yeah, and uh, choose a hill well. to go up. So you might see me up there as well, and you'll be involved as well, Paul. So yeah, yeah, we'll see you on the the 4th of June. Time to head down now. I'm getting a wee bit chilly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a cold wind, yeah. Yeah, and and I hear the weather's going to be superb on the fourth of June as well. It's not like this. It'll be clear views. Well, I've uh, put in a request. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you want to go to the mountains, make sure it's the fourth of June. Yeah. <laughs> right. Shall we get down? Let's go yeah. back to the vans. Right. We'll see you in a wee while. <laughs> oh, let's get the navigation. Bit coming off here. Nice van. Yeah, lovely van. Yeah, two, two peas in a pod, those two, aren't they? Yeah. Right. Oh, I'm feeling tired now. That's us done. We are back at the vans and you probably noticed uh, Paul's got the same van as me, which was, uh, your, your van's very nice. It's uh, Yours lovely. Yours is very nice too. Yeah, it's a good, good choice. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going to finish the video here. But again, please, 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 if you can link on the... Um, Go to the links in the description if, if you want to investigate the challenge for this year a bit further, if you want to donate using the Just Giving link, or if you want to buy the book, all will go to the good charity. So please, 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 if you can, that would be much appreciated. And thanks for watching. I'm going to go and have a coffee now. Thanks, if Paul. If you fancy going up a hill on the 4th of June, then please, please join us. Yeah, absolutely. That'd yeah, be, 4th of June. Great. And then you yeah. get a free book anyway. Yeah, free book. Yes, indeed. You get the free book if you register for the Archie Challenge this year. Must make that clear. Super, right, let's get cracked on. Thanks for your company. We'll see you on the 4th of June. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Right.
So there we go. If you can help out, that would be very much appreciated. Uh, Paul has done a great job in organising the past event and this event with uh, with the help of a, an organising committee. And as you know, if any of you have had any of your kids uh, that have needed hospital treatment, I've, I've my, my son was in for a very minor operation and I knew how stressful uh, that, that was. And as I said, it wasn't even anything too serious. It's, yeah, you realise uh, the value that these charities give to uh, parents and kids and families of those involved. But if anything, if you can give just as little or as much as you can, it would be very much appreciated. Thanks for watching.